एवरीवन इन अवर प्रीवियस क्लास वी हैव कवर्ड एनर्जी कंजर्वेशन एक्ट 2001 सो इन द टू डेज लेक्चर आई वुड लाइक टू स्टार्ट ब्यूरो ऑफ एनर्जी एफिशिएंसी व्हिच इज द सेकंड चैप्टर ऑफ एनर्जी कंजर्वेशन एक्ट 2001 सो लेट्स बिगिन आवर सेशन विद द टॉपिक कॉल्ड ब्यूरो ऑफ एनर्जी एफिशिएंसी और यू कैन से शॉर्टली बी डबल ई और बी the mission of bureau of energy efficiency is to functionalize the energy efficiency services enable delivery mechanism in the country and provide leadership to the energy efficiency in all sector of economy the primary objective would be to reduce the energy intensity in the indian economy then you can say the general superintendent direct and the management of the affair of the bureau of efficiency is vested in governing council with the 26 member the council is headed by union ministry of power and consists of a member represented by secretary of various line ministries then the ceo of technical agency under the ministry then the member representing the equipment and the appliances manufacturers industries architecture consumer and five power region representing the state the director general of the bureau of energy efficiency shall be the co official member secretary of the council okay then the bureau of energy efficiency will be initially supported by the central government by the way of grant through the budget it will however in a period of 5 to 7 year self sufficient okay it would be authorized to collect the appropriate fees for the function assigned to it the bureau of energy efficiency will also use the central energy conservation fund and the other fund right from the various sources for the innovation okay and for the promotion of the new techniques the next we have role of bureau of energy efficiency the role of bureau of energy efficiency would be to prepare the standards and the level of equipment and develop a list of designated consumer specify certification and the accreditation procedures prepare building code and maintain the central energy conservation fund and undertake the promotional activity in coordination with the center and the state level agencies the role would be include the development of the energy efficiency services and companies and transforming market for the energy efficiency and create awareness the next we have electricity act 2003 the need for the enforcement of the electricity act 2003 was felt by the central government for ongoing economic reformation okay the electricity act is a single legislation which address all the key area of the electricity in the country and provides the road map for overall and the uniform development of the electric sector in the country next we have purpose of act so you can say this act has a several purpose so let let me start with the first one first one is to consolidate the law relating to the generation transmission distribution trading and use of electricity second one to take measure conductive for the development of the electricity sector third one to promote the competition in the sector fourth to protect the interest of the consumer fifth to rationalize the electricity tariff then to establish the regulatory commissions and the and the tribunal for the electricity then seventh to ensure supply of the electricity to the all area next to rationalize the tariff okay so that the energy cost is getting optimized then we have overview of the electricity act 
we can include the following point in this topic particularly first one enforcement in 2003 and given to effect from the 10th june 2003 second it consists of 18 part 185 section and one schedule and this act has a several features so next i would like to discuss those features so the first one is the role of government the role of government is to ensure that this act is implemented all over the india in generation transmission and distribution you can say that the government need to manage the generation of power in such a way that the emission level is getting minimized and we will get the power economy okay then after trading and market development which is similar to the generation of the power okay likewise various parameter you can include in this topic let's say tariff principle again we have discussed the tariff very briefly in my previous session okay basically tariff is the tactics by which we are able to specify the price of the electricity for the different customer okay so it is all about the different features that uh, we need to incorporate in electricity act 2003 then next we have a national action plan for the climate change so you can say the national action plan for the climate change is a government of india program which is launched in 2008 to mitigate and to adapt the adverse impact of climate change okay the action was launched in 2008 with the eight submissions the plan aimed at fulfilling the indians development okay with the objective to reduce the emission intensity of its economy the plan will heavily rely on the support from the development country with the prime focus on keeping its carbon emission below the developed economy at the central point okay the eight missions under the napwcc are as follow first one is a national solar mission the national solar mission was launched as a jawaharlal nehru national solar mission in 2010 and it has been revised two times since then the mission was launched with the target of producing 20000 megawatt of the solar power in india the next is a national mission for the enhanced energy efficiency india has the fifth lowest energy efficiency in the world further the gdp of the energy consumption ratio is also poor okay the mission thus focus on the sustainable resources so that the nation can be growth economically i mean to say we need to switch from the renewable non renewable energy sources to the renewable resources the next one is the national mission on the sustainable habitats the transportation sector along with the urban building are the major consumer of the energy in the india apart from the electricity production sector the national mission on the sustainable habitat is an umbrella program to reduce the energy consumption and hence the risk of the climate change due to the urban settlement pattern due to the urban settlement pattern next we have a national water mission okay so basically you can say the national water mission is a comprehensive program for the equitable distribution of the water across the country for enhancing the capacity building process for the management of over exploited blocks it is focused upon on tackling the issue that is related with the availability of the water and the pollution which is on to the global warming and the climate change then we have a national mission for the sustainable himalaya ecosystem so you can say the himalaya are one of the most important ecosystem of the india with the million of people depending on it to ensure provision from the himalaya the mission has a multi prolonged approach to understand the impact of the climate change on the himalaya ecosystem for the sustainable development of other part of country
ग्रीन इंडियन इमिशन नेशनल मिशन फॉर द सस्टेनेबल एग्रीकल्चरल देन नेशनल मिशन फॉर द स्ट्रेटेजिक नॉलेज फॉर द क्लाइमेट चेंज ऑल काइंड ऑफ द मिशन आर देर इन दिस टॉपिक ओके सो इन टू डेज सेशन वी हैव कवर्ड ब्यूरो ऑफ एनर्जी एफिशियंसी देन आफ्टर रोल ऑफ ब्यूरो ऑफ एनर्जी एफिशियंसी देन इलेक्ट्रिसिटी एक्ट देन द डिफरेंट सेलेक्ट फीचर्स ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी एक्ट एंड फाइनली द क्लाइमेट चेंज पॉलिसी प्रोग्राम ओके सो इट इज ऑल अबाउट द टूडे सेशन स्टेस्ट ट्यून फॉर द नेक्स्ट सेशन थैंक यू